Here we are at the end of the American Academy of Thermology Conference in October of 2012. We're wrapping up. I'm going to end the whole meeting with, of course, William Hobbins, my teacher and my mentor and my very close friend. So Dr. Hobbins was just recognized with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his research and his clinical experience in breast thermography. And this is uh, my student who has been faithfully, almost daily, to learn over the past five years what it's taken me 40 years. So she's much smarter and more beautiful than I am. Not really. But what the importance is, what we want to state with our shows and our academy, and most especially our book that we're hoping to come out soon, is the importance of breast thermography, the importance of doing it correctly. And of course, to also in, um, include Jan Crawford, his other student in our um, academy and in teaching women about qualified breast thermography. And it's so important for women to know that it's not pat, 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 and it's not to take pill after pill, but it's to eat properly and get away from estrogen and get away from the lessons that are in all of the plants that will cause their breast harm. And the only way you can test and get that is from therm thermograms. So trust your thermographer and just ask them if you're, you're being stimulated or not. I understand that you met my other uh, student, uh, Jan Crawford, who's been at this probably for 20 years or 15 at least. And she is in Rockford, Illinois. And I also have taught her. And these Two women have done more for the help of women to pay attention to themselves, to common sense. Now, when you go to a center, if, it, if you're not cooling you, if you see light, electric lights on, on where you're sitting and cooling, you know you're in the wrong center. You want one where the room is kept just for the thermography, but all possible, and just two of you in there basically to be sure not to reflect heat on each other is from the standpoint of the thermogram and then the thermogram must be done in a proper way in the various positions and also ladies please don't don't wear a tight bra to work uh, to the meeting let, let, let at that time take a robe or something over yourself so that the breasts aren't compressed and then just instantly removed at the time of the exam. And if you follow the guidelines that she gives you, I gave, her, gave them to Jan and to, to uh, Wendy. Uh, that this is a way to prepare your women. And then you have to keep your lotions and powder off and you go with as light a clothing as you can, no matter your climate that you're in, so you don't want to have your body heated at all. And I, We'll hope that you can watch yourself. It may be some time that they'll even have a way for you to take the pictures and you bring them to hand to, to uh, Wendy and, and uh, Joan, but at, in your home. But right now, you have to go to a center that's protected. Yeah. And do you want to talk about the importance of black hot and monitoring women's breast health and monitoring breast cancer treatments? Yes, it, when you assign, when you assign, let's say if you have a hundred pixels and you're taking a picture, and most of you know what a picture is, pixel is better than I do. But if you assign ten of them to to a given color, you lose all the resolution. A, a thermography has to be done with the thermogram machine that is using only one color, and we think the best color is black and one of the reasons is that the nipple then shows us a very it's the coldest always in the breast so it's a nice cold easily picked out uh, thing on the thermogram and it from that time on we can recognize the black hot and the vessels and 
it's the vessels and their characteristics and the changes over time. The rum tree is not a pitcher in July, a June, it's one in June and then maybe again in 30 days to see that it's the same. If those two are the same, depending upon your risk index and so forth, you, you could wait six months or a year to do it again if you don't have any symptoms. Well, Doc, I want to thank you for your time. I'm so glad you got to speak to the women so they understand what you've done and the research and time that you've put into it. And I really appreciate everything you've done. I appreciate you, thank you and your dedication. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Tom. Well, there you go, troops. William Hoddens, MD. More information on our website. And thanks for tuning in. Prevention is the only sure cure. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, troops. Hey Troops, it only takes one to start a revolution. Spread the word. Show your support for breast mammography and breast health with the I Heart TT sticker. Flash your TTs everywhere and then post it on our Facebook page.